today we're doing a uh, crispy fried soap, which is native yellowtail. And we're going to start by using panko crumbs, which is uh, a dry Chinese, Japanese uh, bread. stays very crispy. And we're going to add one tablespoon of basil and thyme, a little bit of salt and pepper. Mix all our crumbs together, and we have our fresh soul, which is native soul brought in this morning. And we're going to take some good olive oil and just paint your fish both sides so all the crumbs will adhere to it. The pieces are a little big, so I'm only going to do one because it's a little hard to turn two at a time in a pan. Now that that's done, we take our soap and just pack all your crumbs in there. Good. Meanwhile, I have about two tablespoons of olive oil in my hot pan and we're going to crisp it up. And I'm going to wash my hands a minute. And I'll be right back and go into part two. Now our soul is going to be served served with uh, roasted tomatoes. I have here grape tomatoes, about a cup of grape tomatoes, and we're going to add two tablespoons of good capers. Capers that have been soaked in water. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. We toss everything together. The fish about two or three minutes in each side. You don't want to overcook the fish. It's a very, very tender fish. And we put a squeeze of lemon juice. And that's all there is to it. Now the tomatoes are going to be roasted. It takes about 20 minutes in a preheated oven, 400 degrees. Because of the 20 minutes that we don't have, I already have my tomatoes roasted and ready to go. That'll be for the next segment. Our tomatoes are all set with sauce and all I do is add a little bit more olive oil because the tomatoes have absorbed some of the olive oil. And that will be our sauce that's going to be served over our yellow tail. Meanwhile, the fish is Fry it nicely, just a little bit of olive oil. You don't want to drown the fish in oil. When you see that the edges are starting to turn brown, you carefully turn it over. And when I say carefully, carefully, because sometimes I did it. Okay. Now we got that for two to three minutes. And what I'm going to do is I have some orzo. Took a little bit of fresh orzo. Orzo is in a family of pasta. It's just the shape of it. It makes a nice presentation. Okay, add a little bit of pepper to your orzo, a little bit of salt, and we're going to be ready to serve our fish shortly. Because it being such a small piece and thin, you do not overcook it. No more than two to three minutes on each side. Okay. Tastes the same. 
And now we take our roasted caper sauce, which is very easy to put together, and it's a delicious sauce in the summertime, light, with all the fresh tomatoes around. If you choose to use any other kind of tomatoes, Roma's are nice for that. And you serve it with lemon. And just sprinkle a little bit of parsley. And your dish is done. Enjoy it.